is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. My guest was just having basic surgery and he left his body and there was someone by him. That someone was Jesus. And he received an impartation and revelation from God. And this is what he was told. Every person that knows the Lord has a God package inside of them. And as you listen to my guest speak, you will get revelation of your God package. The more you listen to him to speak, the more revelation. And you cannot accomplish your destiny unless you know what God has packaged inside of you. And I am believing that everyone is going to get revelation right now. Now, my guest was having a dental procedure. This was back in 92. And this is the first time he's been given permission to share what happened in a public uh, venue. And uh, Kevin, uh, the presence of God has since that point has been so strong on you that I just pray you're able to get through this interview. <laughs> is what I, I do. agree. But, I agree uh, but Kevin, uh, you were having this procedure and you found yourself outside of your body uh, and there was someone there with you. Tell me about it. Well, when I, when I first realized that I was out of my body, I, I at first was alarmed. So I, I looked around and I thought, well, I'll t tell the doctor. So the surgeon was working on me. I, I'll, point, I'll just point, point at him and tell him. You, you know, pray that the doctor doesn't know that no you're pulse. dead. Yeah, and so. <laughs> gotta bring him back. He wouldn't listen to me, so I walked <laughs> over and I poked him. <laughs> And he still didn't think that I was that serious about it. So I went to the nurse and then the nurse ignored me too. So I went to the anesthesiologist and she did the same thing. And so I put my hands up in the air and I thought, well, this is it. And um, all of a sudden my body started to glow on the table and uh, I transformed into my resurrection body. And um, I said to myself, I, I look, I look beautiful. beautiful. You look like that to me all the time. Your resurrection body, you will look beautiful. Did you look, did you look better than you do now? Oh, yes, Sid, I, <laughs> I was astounded. <laughs> and um, I heard a man's voice that was not accounted for in the room. He said, well, that's what you look like to me all the time. And I turned around and it was Jesus and so I walked up to him and he met me right there in the center of the operating room. Now, Kevin is a flight attendant. You told me one particular day, how many people did you witness to and they came to the Lord? Well, I, I started in the morning um, out of Florida and by the time I got to or New Orleans at night, I had witnessed to 41 people and they had been weeping as I'd walk by in the aisle and laughing and I asked them what was wrong and they said well every time you walk by there's some sort of presence on you and so before you know it I was uh, witnessing to four rows in the airplane about my visitation and they all started crying <laughs> and started and so I've seen things like that happen. I wish you were my flight <laughs> attendant I can tell you that but uh, okay Kevin Jesus taught you something and it, it was it's in the Bible but it just really spoke to me about the power of words. 
Yes, initially uh, he, wa he wanted to teach me, so he started teaching me, and it was amazing. He walked up to me and he said, you know, in Matthew 12, 36, I said you that will you will be held accountable for every, every idle word, word that comes, comes out, out of your, your mouth. mouth. And then he just stared at me, and I started to feel a little convicted because I was a talker. <laughs> and um, I felt like I needed to make an adjustment inside, and so he walked up to my, my ear and he whispered, he goes, you know I meant that, don't you? Don't you? And then he smiled at me. And so he what, began what to teach me. Eye, what did his eyes look like? His eyes have, are really deep, and inside I could see my destiny. In fact, I could see inside his eyes the moment that he thought of me and breathed me out, and I went into my mother's womb. My goodness. Yes, and he's full of fire, too. His eyes are full of fire. But he meant what he said about idol inoperative, yes. unnecessary, let alone gossip yeah. words. Yes. And, and you also looked at your body and you saw something black over you. Tell me about that. The next step in the teaching that he, he did for me was he asked me to turn around turn and around. look at my body again, look which was body. really bright and transformed. But all of a sudden now there was a black vest obscuring my beauty from my neck down to my stomach area. So I inquired of the Lord, what is this? And he said, I'll take a look closer. And he said, if you'll look really close, it, I'll, really so, I'll show you what it is. And it, it was all the words, words that, that, were that were spoken true, against that me and that vest. were not true. And they had formed a vest. There were so many. It looked like newspaper print. But there were words and words. And he said, these words, words that, people that people spoke, spoke he said, they, they were, were not, not your, your destiny. destiny. And we need to and take, need care, to take of this. care of this. You know, we believe almost anything anyone says. If we had as much faith in the written Word of God as we do on what these nobodies Amen. say to us, and if what they say does not line up with the Word of God, I had a prophet come to me one time and tell me I had a dread disease. I'm so glad I didn't believe him. I'm so glad I rejected I heard of another man was told one day uh, a, a spirit came to him and said, you're going to die today. I'm glad he rebuked that spirit. He lived another 50 years. So let every man be a liar, but God's word is true. Right. Then, Kevin, Jesus said, I'm going to share with you the one most supernatural thing that you can do, but very few of my children do it, that will so throw them into the supernatural more than anything else available when I come back. <laughs> we'll be right back to It's Supernatural. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network is not just another Christian TV network. ISN offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. ISN lets me watch my favorite shows anytime I want. These exclusive programs are life-changing. Multitudes report getting healed and having their prayers answered. Get ready to receive your supernatural breakthrough, your healing, your miracle. Download the free ISN app today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Okay, uh, I know you're on the edge of your seat. What did Jesus say is the most supernatural gift that every believer can enter into, but most of his children don't realize how important it is and don't do it enough. What did he tell you? He told me that beyond anything else you could do on this earth, it would be the only thing that he would want you to do is yield to the Spirit of God and that that would bring forth an utterance which they call speaking in tongues. And he said, if you will pray in the Spirit and bring out the depths and the mysteries of God out into this realm, that the spiritual realm would become so close to me that I begin to operate in the spiritual realm here on earth. I, I, the council room in heaven where they explain that to me. I was surprised at how uh, intricate and um, organized heaven is, and I was, uh, I, was really, I was really intrigued by God's order. He has a government, it's called the Kingdom of God. He has books that are written about every individual person, and they are available to the angels that are assigned to each person. Those angels look at those books, they're briefed, 
decisions are made on who would influence a group of people and those angels go to work in bringing the truth to those people and helping them to get other people involved and walk in with in the spirit with God. Yeah, but what you explained to me is that uh, we all have free will, but they work out a strategy in heaven to get you in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And it's got a lot to do with us yielding. How, how do you understand that? Well, I found that the, the, the most uh, serious asset uh, or liability that we have is our own will. Um, I know that God loves us, but He has to get that across to us. He ha we have to have revelation from the Spirit of God, and many people don't have the revelation of God's love and His concern for us or His plan for us. But these books are full of pages that Jesus said some of them will never be opened because people don't yield to the Spirit and they don't um, give their will over. There is a walking in the Spirit that requires you to hand your life over and carry your own cross. And Jesus wanted everyone to know this, that there is power available, but it's going to be by you losing and Him, and him gaining you. Is Jesus sad that most believers have all these wonderful, I mean, amazing exploits that God has for them, and it's all written, and He's doing everything He can to get you to do it, and you're not doing it. I bet he's pretty sad over that. Yes, even at one point rem I remember this. Um, he had an individual, I don't know who it was, but had them stand in as an example. He uh, reached out his hand and this yellow, um, beautiful gold uh, substance came out of his hand and he prayed over the person. It bounced off of them and bounced back onto him and us. And he turned to me and he had tears in his eyes and he said, see, they won't see, let, they me, won't bless let them. me bless them. And he said, you've, you've got, got to teach, teach people, people to receive, receive from me. I want, I want to bless them. How, how do we receive from him? It's the turning over of your will to the Almighty God. The revelation of Jesus Christ has to do with the fact that he actually stood on a spot. I've stood on that spot. I saw that spot he stood on, and he created the universe. He is in command. He is uh, not weak. He's not worried. He's not concerned. And he really doesn't even, he didn't even ask me for my opinion on anything the whole time. Really? <laughs> Tell me about, the, and, and this is so amazing, some of the, rev, just a little bit of the revelations that he showed you how powerful prayer is. Well, Instantly, he said, I'm going to show you how powerful your prayers are, Kevin. And he took me, and we went uh, to a place in the United States that I recognized as New Mexico, and I was standing on this mountain right above the, uh, the missile range out there, the test facility. Uh, I recognize it because I fly over it a lot. And um, as we were standing there, he said, start praying, Kevin, start in the spirit. Kevin. So I yielded and started praying in the spirit. And as I did, he pointed and he says, now watch. This. And I saw the explosion. It looked like the atomic bomb detonation that had gone off in the 40s. Uh, it started to explode and this big plume went straight up into the air and it was all red and, and powerful. And the Lord said, he said, most Christians are looking for the spectacular. They look at this, they cloud. Look at this cloud. But he said, the supernatural, the supernatural is, is the shock wave, wave that's traveling ground. along the ground. And I saw this shock wave go out about 30 miles and it was knocking everything over. And he said, see, Kevin, when you pray, your prayers are effective and it's moving mountains out of the way and you should never give up. You should always so, pray. <laughs> why, why do people give up so easily? I realized that people were looking for a sign of some sort, a manifestation that it was working. I also knew that there was demonic activity that would stop people from praying. Um, they would actually feel depressed, and it wouldn't even be them. They would have chemical imbalances in their body, but it was from the outside, and they were being influenced to think that there was a problem, and they would stop praying. There was things that would happen that would stop them from praying, and the Lord said, you should never give up praying because you will get your answer. Now. Probably, to me anyway, one of the most exciting things uh, that Kevin came back with is what the, the Bible says, you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire. Now, most believers haven't received this fire. Do you realize that when you have this fire, the devil can't come near you? Amen. He's afraid of you. Is there anyone, anyone that wants this fire? Amen. Be right back. <laughs> 
Call now and get Kevin Zadai's Heaven Birthed 2 book package, Days of Heaven on Earth, and Heavenly Visitation, a guide to participating in the supernatural. And you will also receive his exclusive audio CD teaching, How to Bring Heaven to Earth, plus this bonus, Kevin's atmospheric Holy Spirit-led full immersion music on audio CD entitled Awakening. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9443. You will receive Kevin's two book series, Days of Heaven on Earth and Heavenly Visitation, a guide to participating in the supernatural. Kevin wrote his Heavenly Vision book completely by the Holy Spirit in five 18-hour days by praying in tongues and interpreting it. Through reading these books, you will enter into a deeper understanding of God's destiny and purpose for your life. Experience heavenly visitations from Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and angels. Encounter days of heaven on earth wherever you go. Become a carrier of God's holy fire. You will also get Kevin's audio CD teaching, How to Bring Heaven to Earth, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience only. In this teaching, Kevin Zadai releases God's holy fire into your life so you can encounter heaven on earth, the supernatural of God like never before. The CD includes Kevin praying over you several powerful prayers of impartation so you can experience the atmosphere of God's glory in your own life. Plus, you will receive this bonus, Kevin's atmospheric Holy Spirit-led full immersion music on audio CD entitled Awakening. Before Kevin Zadai visited heaven, he didn't have any musical skills. After his encounters with Jesus and the angelic realm, he found that he could supernaturally play nine instruments. On this CD, you will be ushered behind the veil into God's heavenly atmosphere. Don't miss out on getting Kevin Zadai's Heaven Birthed 2 book package, Days of Heaven on Earth, and Heavenly Visitation, a guide to participating in the supernatural. And you will also receive his exclusive audio CD teaching, How to Bring Heaven to Earth, plus this bonus, Kevin's atmospheric Holy Spirit-led full immersion music on audio CD entitled Awakening. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9443, or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9443 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. <laughs> you know, Kevin, once he experienced Jesus, and I might add, uh, he has either gone to heaven or had Jesus come to him at least 17 times. Uh, and, and But you did not want to come back. Uh, why didn't you want to come back? <laughs> well, first of all, I was looking at my Creator in the eyes, and He believed in me more than anyone on this earth did. And I also felt so safe with Him, and I felt that He had completely um, engulfed Himself in me, and I didn't want to come back. I also... I. I argued with him because when I found out that I was coming back, I, I explained to him why I wasn't. And I had. <laughs> five, oh, that was good of you. <laughs> I had five good reasons. And um, when I was finished with that, I felt like I had really accomplished my, my uh, task of testimony. And he just smiled at me. And he said, Well, you're not going back for yourself. You're going back for all these people that I've sent you to. And he turned, and as he pointed to the wall, many people started to appear on the wall and they were standing there in a line and I couldn't see the end of it. And he said, these people need to hear what you're going to tell them. You're going to go back and their whole lives are going to be rerouted because I'm going to send you to people to talk to them. And at that very moment, he said, he said I'll show you how it's going to work. It's going to be very easy. He said, it's all extra credit because you completed your task. You've run your race. But he said, I'm sending you back. You cannot fail. You cannot lose. He said, I'm going to come up and I'm going to talk in your right ear and I'm just going to say what I want you to say to them. You repeat it word for word and their lives will be changed forever. They'll be rerouted in their life and it'll end up perfect like they're supposed to end up. Now, people that hear you speak have their God package unwrapped, so to speak. Um, when you talk to the people, how many people have you talked to? Well, in that, in that instance, I saw between 15 and 20, 25 people, but now it's up over 150 people that God has sent me to individually, plus all the meetings and things that I have in addition to that. But He keeps sending me to people daily. And by the way, 
Uh, I did not know this because this event we're talking about happened in, what, 92? Yes. But you've been watching me on television, and I was one of those people. I knew that I would eventually have a message for you and that I would be sent to you. And so I've been waiting all these years. Last year, he finally released me to write the material that I wrote. And then I was waiting for the right timing to come on the show and talk to you and give you the message. Well. Holy fire, this so intrigues me. Just tell me what God showed you about holy fire, because, by the way, it's wonderful that Kevin has it, but this is not only available to every believer, God wants every believer to have this. What, what I found out about Jesus was he's full of fire. Um, he's not weak. Um, he's very loving and kind, but he's also full of fire. And when he speaks, the words go in and burn inside of you. And I was imprinted with his words. Uh, I, I'm not the same person I was being in his presence, but when he spoke to me, I could feel the fire. And I realized that the whole throne room is full of fire and there's fiery angels all around. And so when I started to encounter these things and he sent me back, I realized that, that God is a consuming fire. Our God is a consuming fire. And I realized that I have better, I better start getting lit up and then I'm gonna light up people all around me. And so I just figured, I just figured that, the, but the interesting thing about holiness and holy fire is that people misunderstand holiness is not just good behavior or discipline. Holiness, if you really, really look into it, and from what Jesus told me, he said, holiness is ownership. I own you, and I have set you apart, and now you're mine. And a it's lot of- It's not what God can do to me. It's not what God can give me. It's what I can do if God dwells in me, and I let him. Is giving up your life the most exciting thing you've ever done to be used by Jesus? Yes, because, said the, fa the, the father relinquished his son to this earth in order to bring about a powerful salvation. And when I saw that in Jesus' eyes, he, he in, in, the, in the material that I wrote, he explained to me what he went through for me. He did not want any, anything to be left undone in my life. He, every drop of blood, he didn't want any of it wasted. He said, I, what I went through for you was so you could be victorious. You don't have to go through the things I went through, Kevin. I went through them for you. And that's why I, I give, give him my life completely now. I realized that I really didn't know him even though I had walked with him for years. I didn't know him until I met him. And when I realized what a real person he is and how much he loves you and um, everybody on the earth, he did this for everyone. Would you pray the fire on everyone that wants it right now? Guess what? I'm hungry. <laughs> Look in the camera and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you that your throne is full of fire, that the altar before your throne is full of fire, that your angels are flames of fire, ministering spirits. Holy Spirit, you baptize in fire. And right now, in the name of Jesus, go out through the airwaves, out into the audience. Everyone touch in the name of Jesus, holy fire from heaven above. Everyone receive in Jesus' name, amen. Fire! <laughs> fire! Fire! More fire! More fire! More fire! And Thank you, let Father. everyone <laughs> that is watching or hearing what we are saying right now recognize how beautiful Jesus is. Yeah. What he did for you. Yeah. Repent of your sins. Tell him you're sorry. Yeah. Believe that he died for them. Believe that you are clean. Believe he lives inside of you by spoken invitation and believe that he can use you to feed the hungry, to help the needy, and to be him, represent him in every area of your life. The choice is yours. Yes. You are a chosen vessel. What is there to compare? Kevin, there is nothing, nothing to compare. this earth has to offer mm. to compare. In Yeshua's name, mm. amen. amen. 
During surgery, Kevin Zadai found himself standing on the other side of the veil, watching the doctor and his assistants working to revive his lifeless body that lay on the operating table. Jesus appeared to him in that operating room. For 45 minutes, Jesus revealed spiritual truths to teach others how to experience the atmosphere of heaven on earth. Over time, Kevin had 17 different encounters with Jesus in heaven. Now, he wants to teach and impart to you how you can be an instrument of bringing the supernatural fire of God to people wherever you go. Call now and get Kevin Zadai's Heaven Birthed 2 book package, Days of Heaven on Earth, and Heavenly Visitation, a guide to participating in the supernatural. And you will also receive his exclusive audio CD teaching, How to Bring Heaven to Earth, plus this bonus, Kevin's atmospheric Holy Spirit-led full immersion music on audio CD entitled Awakening. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9443. You will receive Kevin's two book series, Days of Heaven on Earth and Heavenly Visitation, a guide to participating in the supernatural. Kevin wrote his Heavenly Vision book completely by the Holy Spirit in five 18-hour days by praying in tongues and interpreting it. In both books, he documents the visitations and revelations from Jesus revealing God's personality and God's divine plan for your life. Through reading these books, you will enter into a deeper understanding of God's destiny and purpose for your life. Experience heavenly visitations from Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and angels. Encounter days of heaven on earth wherever you go. Become a carrier of God's holy fire. Jesus told me that if I will give this material out and get it into people's hands, that it will radically change everyone that receives this material and implements it into their life. He promised that he would show up, and without doubt, he has done that. You will also get Kevin's audio CD teaching, How to Bring Heaven to Earth, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience only. In this teaching, Kevin Zadai releases God's holy fire into your life so you can encounter heaven on earth, the supernatural of God like never before. The CD includes Kevin praying over you several times powerful prayers of impartation so you can experience the atmosphere of God's glory in your own life. Plus, you will receive this bonus, Kevin's atmospheric Holy Spirit-led full immersion music on audio CD entitled Awakening. Before Kevin Zadai visited heaven, he didn't have any musical skills. After his encounters with Jesus and the angelic realm, he found that he could supernaturally play nine instruments. On this CD, you will be ushered behind the veil into God's heavenly atmosphere. Get ready to bring the glory of God right into your home, your car, your office, or wherever you listen. Don't miss out on getting Kevin Zadai's Heaven Birthed 2 book package, Days of Heaven on Earth, and Heavenly Visitation, a guide to participating in the supernatural. And you will also receive his exclusive audio CD teaching, How to Bring Heaven to Earth, plus this bonus, Kevin's atmospheric Holy Spirit-led full immersion music on audio CD entitled Awakening. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9443, or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9443 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. My guest has moved for many years in miracles, but something just happened to him. He just got back from Argentina, and in a matter of minutes, 60 people had creative miracles. I mean, new organs. And he says it's transferable. Anyone interested? Yeah.